Hi, Philip Hinkle here from EventDV Magazine. Today's tutorial on Pluralize for EDIUS is about a new third-party plugin that allows you, the editor, to easily sync all of your audio and video sources quickly on your timeline. It will speed up your edits, and we all know time is money. Enjoy the tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about Pluralize for EDIUS. Pluralize was recently released as a third-party plugin for EDIUS version 6. It allows the editor to easily sync audio and video on the timeline without going through the laborious task of doing it manually. It just automatically works. Let's go give it a try and see how it works. First, I've got eight different clips, and I'm actually going to set up for a multicam edit here. So I'm just going to take my clips and randomly drop them down on my timeline in different spots and let's put pluralize to a good little test. I'm just going to randomly drop them all over. We're going to actually use this section later on in one of our other tutorials covering multicam. As you can see, I've got all eight clips down there. Now I've got one more clip that I'm going to drop in. I'm going to turn off my video because I don't want the video on it. It's up here at the very top. This is a DV clip and this is where we're getting our raw audio from. We had a better quality mic on there. We're just going to drag it down and drop it right here on our 1A track. Now it's time to let Pluralize do its thing. To access Pluralize we come up to the Tools menu, click on Pluralize, and here's our Pluralize information screen. Let's take a look at some of the options and see what we can do with it. The first option that is available is Clips are Chronological. That's your default selection. That means you have done your best to assure the clips are on the timeline chronologically, especially on any tracks where you have placed multiple clips. It will help Pluralize do a better job and be more accurate in the sync process. The next option is Level Audio. What it's going to do is going to take your louder clips and quiet them down. It's going to take your quieter clips and raise the volume on them to get everything sort of in the same ballpark level-wise. That means it can do a better job of finding those sound stamps that it's going to link to. Pluralize is going to read through all of your audio files that are linked to the video files, and those that aren't, your straight up audio files like from solid state recorders, it's going to try and find common areas that match, and then it's going to sync to those areas, and you'll have a timeline that's ready to rock. The next option is try really hard, and it does exactly what it says, tries really hard. It will take a little bit extra time, but Pluralize will go through and it will do its very best job. It's really good to use this option, say you've got a clip with a lot of background noise and not a whole lot of things that it can sync to, that it can find a sound stamp on and grab onto your natural audio file or your, your good audio file. It's just going to try really hard to do a good job for you. The last option is the Replace Audio option. What it does is it takes the first audio only track on your timeline and as all the files get synced up it will actually put the audio from that audio only track on all of your clips that it syncs to as the main audio. It can be very handy in some situations but there are other types of edits where you may not want to do that. Okay so now that we know what those options do let's press the sync button and see what happens. Okay, we are done, and as you can see, we're all synced up. Now, the big test is, did it work? So let's find a spot in our timeline and see how it did. Sounds pretty clean to me. Obviously, our audio levels are very high because every audio track is running. This is my master audio, so I would probably go through my project and I would mute most of those channels. I might select one or two of them to keep alive and then I would expand them and we would use that for a little bit of ambient sound to, to richen the, the quality of our sound up a little bit. One other thing I did want to show you before we we're finished is you'll notice up here we have a new sequence now called Sequence 1 Synced with a big long date code on it. 
what has happened is Pluralize took your original sequence and left it completely intact from how you set it up. It has not touched any of that information. It's gone out and made a new sequence for you to work out of. So if for some reason you need to start over or go back to your original setup, it's all right there for you. You've got both sequences. This is the one you're probably going to be working out of the most though. So you may want to rename it something a little shorter that will show up in the sequence tab and be easier to read. That's all for today's tutorial. Come back in a few weeks where we'll be talking about how to get creative in EDIUS using custom filter presets and nested sequences.